old ass brutal seltzers. Why not? It's late night. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Strikeout Beer Late Night Podcast with your pals, Alan Rapid Dave and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. What's up, buddy? How are you? You know what? I'm just living the dream, brother. Just uh, it, it was a wonderful Monday night. Um, Rangers won. The Lions won. Uh, sitting here drinking a few uh, alcoholic drinks with my brother as we launch into the Celty Boys, that's right. We're dr- knocking back some seltzers. We're both drinking from Brutal Beer Works, the Black Talon series. I got I've the got OG the, one. You've got to the coconut lime. I've got the lime. Um, fun fact about this one, it's not listed on the untapped. So I have no idea how old this is. When I got it, um, they have a lime chica on there, but that one's 4.2%. This one's 5% by alcohol by volume, but... Let's let's cry. Yours is what from 2021, so two years. Yeah, 2021. I'm telling you right okay. now, I'm nervous about it because I've had this beer for so long. I actually have. I got a beer can. I got a dummy one, right, where they didn't put beer in it, but it was there. It was just one of those things. I don't know if they did it to jerk around, jerk around with us, but we had it in the fridge forever. And it this can is tighter than your mama. I mean, it is tight. I'm going to go ahead and crack it now. I swear to God, if this thing blows up, I'm going to lose my mind. It's All right. Be- Shut up. It's going to make for a, a, an awesome clip. I have not. This beer has been. Hold it up so the people can see. Hold on. Oh, shit. We got a gusher. We got a gusher. No. We got a gusher. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's let's let everything alleviate the pain a little bit. What well, just when whoa. you say that, I think of uh, something about Mary. We yeah. got a bleeder. We got a bleeder. <laughs> Oh, it is carbonated. If there's How one thing the that Brutal did well back in the day. The oh, what'd you say? How'd you get the beans above the Frank? <laughs> if there's one thing that Brutal did, like they knocked it out of the park, it's carbonation back in 2020. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, let's be honest. They've I've been a huge fan of them since day one. We were out there opening day. It was Father's Day. Uh, a little bit over four years ago, we were out there, and the place was packed. Like I got there before you did and I had us both a flight sitting there. Uh, you showed up, got in line, uh, got us our second flight. And then our, our good buddy, Gina, that, that I still work with her yeah. and her husband, Scott were there. And I jumped in line as they were close to the front line and got our third flight for the day. Um, we sampled one of everything they had and we loved it then. Um, Shortly after that, we were there doing a live remote there on September 11th and had a blast with the guys then and uh, had had a budding uh, bromance since then where I feel pretty confident like if the situation arise, all three of us would leave our uh, significant others and uh, travel to Wyoming to form a uh, love cult. So, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for whatever. So <clears throat> this I you know it brings me back immediately when we had this beer because it's such a um you know a unique combination. It almost reminds you of summertime, right? Coconut and right. lime. This 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 seltzer was intended to be pounded, ran through just hot dog how down a hallway. You treat you like your ex, right? Your, your ex, where it's like you guys have been broken up for a while, and she calls you one random night, and you just go over there just to say hi. Um, and the next thing you know, you're just just beating it up, right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, six point nine percent alcohol by volume, no IBUs, obviously a three point three percent or a three point three average score on Untapped. This is from twenty twenty one. The cool thing about this is, I'll say this: there's only forty two check ins. Okay. And it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, man, I still, you know, this beer is like, or this, the seltzer, excuse me, seltzer boys, it just never got checked in a lot. And then, you know, it never got around. And so I have this can here, obviously, but then I have one that's sealed. That's got no, no seltzer in it, no beer. And I've, I've just had it around for two freaking years, two and a half years, actually. Here, here's what you need to do. You need to give me that can and I'm going to go up the brutal. 
and I'm just going to go in there and just complain to the random because like we used to know all the the beer tenders up there and there's a few up there that we don't know. I'll go up there on a day when it's one of the, one of the people who who has no idea who I am and just walk in and be like, "Man, what the heck is going on?" like and I'll I'll make sure I record, but like what what's going I got this I got the seltzer and it's empty. I, I got to go with you. And they're going to look at me and they're going to be like, "What what do you mean? Look, 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 it's empty. I just bought this." Yeah. He's like, "We don't we don't have that." Oh, well, obviously I have it. It's got your stupid logo on it, doesn't it? Does it not say Brutal Beer Works? What other like slap stick ass? Look, if if you want me to go ahead, I'll call the phone number on the can that is 817-666-2728. Like I say that, I'll say this, minutes. you know, I think we'll have to let Eric know we're going to pull that shit uh just so we can have some maybe some extra camera set up. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'm in on it. Uh, I'd love to do it, and I do have I do have a can that's labeled and everything. Listen, there's no one that got screwed out of this whole thing other than me. I'm the one that didn't get this beer. But okay, okay, but but it, it, hold on, you didn't buy it. I went and bought it. If I had, you know, if I have a whole four pack here, I probably gave you the money for it and said, "Hey, buddy, I had two out of four. Two out of four. What are you just handed me? So you handed me an empty beer." allegedly yeah exactly well i mean that's what you're saying you're saying right now that you gave but, me but, but i never handed you like just like one or two beers if i ever bring you beer especially from brutal it's a whole four pack right but, but uh, of not of the same beer but of it's typically four different beers <sighs> you could feel like there's one beer that's maybe missing i don't know I'm blaming everybody. Everybody's getting blamed. Everybody's being a, a sign in this lawsuit. It's coming. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you who's to blame. That SOB that walked away. That I still love, but you walked away. Oh, Jesus. And you know. I still love him. Love him. Oh, no. I just said I still love you. But you you quit. You quit on me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> quit on um, whoever. You're going to talk to somebody else. I don't quit on anybody. Let's fucking go. Um, yeah. So... I want to talk to you a little bit about a, a documentary that neither one of us neither one of us has watched. Okay. The the missus was watching this earlier. I walked by after I think it was beer number one. I was like, oh, what are you watching? You know, she's always watching some sort of a documentary or something like that that just makes you question everything about humanity, right? Uh some effed up documentary about somebody screwing somebody over, or whatever. And this is another one of those. It's, it's some chick that's like, you know, how much worse can it be now? And then she watches like one of these and goes, I feel okay. You know, it's one of those where you feel like secure enough to stay with Alan. It's it's, like, yeah. this is, well, this is one of those that you watch and you're like, you might like, you might sit there and you'd be like, man, I'm not that great of a parent, right? Like your kids are acting out, whatever. And you think, you know, hey, maybe I'm just not cut out to be a parent, right? There's a lot of people out there for that. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then you see like, oh, here's this documentary. You know what? I'm not that bad. And the documentary is about. About people who kill their kids. No, no, no. You're no. still a terrible. No, no, they're not killing their kids. It's about Wrinkles the Clown. The Clown? Wrinkles the Clown. Yeah. What's wrong with Wrinkles? What'd he do? Oh, Wrinkles the Clown is the clown that parents hire. To scare the shit out of their kids. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Okay. Your, your kids. Yes. That you're raising. Yeah. That you're, you're trying to raise good kids. Whatever. You're, you're trying to do your best, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you're like, hey, hey, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hire this clown to scare the living shit out of my kid. Same thing so, as uh, scared straight, right? For uh, the prison and shit like yeah, that. Well, uh, no, because I mean, it's not like these kids are like, it's your kid's not out there breaking laws. You're just like, hey, I want to scare the shit out of my kid. Let me hire this clown to come and scare the shit out of my kid. My kid's great. My kid's a straight A student, does great in school, does all this stuff, but I just want to scare the shit out of him just because why not? Oh, just to do it? Yeah. No, that's what oh. these. You're like, hey, this will be funny if I hire this clown to scare the shit out of my kid. Which this might, this might not be a, a, a this might be an unpopular opinion, but yeah, no. If uh, if you do this 
for a kid and traumatize them and you got like a good kid you should probably be sterilized at that point because you don't deserve <laughs> like, to have kids <laughs> you're right. an idiot like you're, an you're, you're just like hey i feel like scaring my kid why not like, like wiggles like, should beat the shit out of you or whatever his I, name is hey i get scared right like i'll, I'll i've done the thing where like you know you, you, your kid's not in the room their room you go you go in the room you hide under their bed and you know they're laying down there and you scare the shit out of them right or you're around the corner and they come around the corner and you scare them right i've done that with a nephew like i, mean, I, I get the second part out of them. not the first one jesus christ um well i mean you're not come on I'm just, I'm just um under the bed just waiting to jump out <laughs> Jesus. You're not sitting under there for a long time. You're you're under there for like a minute or two, and the other <laughs> parents following you in there so they can record it and stuff. And it, it's funny, right? You're just like ah, and they're like ah, jump scared, like right? Two um, terrible but, parents. But nah, I mean, I'm mediocre at that best. Like but I, I'm not hiring a clown to come and scare the living crap out of you. So if you're scared of clowns for the rest of your life, right? Like that's that's fucked up, right? I'm not, I'm not alone on thinking this, right? I mean, it is, it is effed up. I have an aunt that's terrified of clowns. So, like, when we did the clown theme out front of the house, you remember a couple of years ago? Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. Video, we're like, hey, you know what? After a couple of years, the clown. She was like, holy shit, that's scary. Yeah, I couldn't even watch. Like, after the first five minutes, I go, shit, I got a clown sitting in the passenger seat next to me in my Dodge. I got to drive around with that MF for all the time. Like, <laughs> sits around there year round, which is crazy. But, yeah. But that's who goes for a ride with me, man. It's, it, it is what it is. But yeah, no, if you're going out of your way to scare the shit out of your kids, I, I said this, I think I mentioned this to somebody else too. It's like, you know, it's like <clears throat> you go out of your way to like coddle your kid and, and like make sure they're in the right car seat or the right school or this and that or whatever. But then you'll go and like, just try to scare the shit out of them for no reason. It's like, that's a terrible parent. That Like that is, it's like, you like, want to what, what are you doing your kid? like why you're, like, you're exactly right you're traumatizing your kid and then the rest of their life they can't function properly in certain situations or something like that and they're scared of shit like of all these all these things but you know but you had to get those clicks right you're like that biggest piece of shit that had to get like you know what our tiktok's gonna blow up or whatever but you know you're scaring the shit out of your kid like yeah i think that's it for you i think like you know Someone should find you, sterilize you, and you shouldn't have any more kids. Try to work on the kid that you have now. And Jesus Christ, like, what is your fucking deal? I mean, yeah. are you that big of a loser? I don't mean to tack this on to the Black Talon Brutal Beer Works review. I'm just saying. This is this has nothing to do with Black Talon, but it has to do with deadbeat douchebag parents, right? Like, super I mean, I get, like, it, who hasn't, like your kids walking down the hallway and you you see them coming down. So you just kind of hide behind the corner and they walk past you like, rah, right. That that's fine. Right. I do you're, it all not, the time. you're not traumatizing your kid by doing something like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or hiding, you know, you hide in their closet and they're in there. They're, they come in the room and you jump out of the closet after they're in there for a second and you scare them. It, that's borderline as well. I, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I'm I don't not do sitting that in there for. I'm not sitting in there for like t 30 minutes, right? I'm in there for like five minutes, right? Yeah. I walk in there. I go, oh, I jump in there. They're in the room. They're sitting down. You wait like a minute after they're in the room. Then you jump out. Okay. Uh, but like going and hiring someone, I'm paying money to someone to scare the living crap out of my kid. That's different. Like... I, I, I agree with you on that. And I think I'm just getting older. I think it's like, you know, if we have Isaiah or at the house and you know, you know, there's a circle, you can go this way or this way and you can still end up in the same room type thing. And, right. and so I'll fake going left or fake going right. And then we come around like, Hey, you know, it's not a, ah, I'm going to eat your soul thing. It's uh, right. you know, and he takes off. He laughs. He's laughing the whole time around. It's funny, right? Yeah. yeah. He's having more of a good time than he is being scared to death. But, you know, take it, you know, for me, I don't know what got me as a child or as an adult or whatever it is. But, you know, I, I told you, and I told everybody that, that listens and watches, I'm like, I'm a giant P 
Um, I I don't watch scary movies. I am terrified of them. You watch a bunch of them, but. I, I do, but there's some that I don't watch, and there's like Lizzie right. won't let me watch others. And it's like because I've been there's something that hit me where I've been traumatized to where I'll stay up all effing night and I'm like, I'll lay in my bed. I'm sitting there as like 40 something year old dude. I'm just like laying there. I'm like, someone's coming to come. But eventually, though, I'll tell you the trick. Here's the trick the trick is you just don't care anymore. Yeah. You yeah. welcome, you welcome that sweet. Sweet, sweet sweet release of death yeah, yeah. no yeah. and like like right now like Hall- halloween season right the the kiddos and, and they've been watching a bunch of like scary movies and stuff but the thing that they always do like I, I when i came home the other night they were watching like uh the conjuring 2 or something like that and they finished watching that and then before they go to bed they sit down they watch it they watch my they watch an episode of my little pony right yeah. they, they have something that they we call the palate cleanser right yeah. oh. um and, and you watch something that's not scary before you go to bed for like for me like i'll watch i've been watching a bunch of stuff on hulu the hulu ween a bunch of these scary movies and stuff like that but i watch them during the day while i'm sitting here working like yeah. i'm working and i have i have stuff on the tv and so i'm watching it as i'm working uh, almost as kind of like background noise and things um the other night i i actually uh i think it was like friday night i was sitting here and i was watching something on hulu one of the scary movies and i was building a lego set watching something and then when i was done i i fired up a couple episodes of it's always sunny in philadelphia you know it, it's always getting that that palate cleanser before you go to bed uh just something to change the mood like the movies i watched weren't like super scary or anything like that but let me let me get some comedy before i go to bed I'm with you on that. And I've done the same thing as a, uh, a, you know, child, adolescent, as an adult, things like that. And, and I can sit there, if the sun's out, I can sit there and watch whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. It's not, uh, like worrisome or anything like that, but yeah, I, I do work in some American dad, some family guy, maybe some Futurama, always sunny, things like that. And it definitely just mellows me out and I just, I'll go right to bed, but I, I think that like, dude, I like growing up, man, it used to terrify the shit out of me. I don't know if it, I don't, it's obviously my mother or whatever. It was like, she would put on like Freddie or goddamn Jason or something like that. I'm like, these are the two dudes you cannot kill. And like, you know, uh, th- that's my problem. Everybody else you can handle. You can handle anybody else. But when it comes to like Freddie or Jason or Michael Myers now, obviously, you know, same type of issue. And I'm like, nothing else terrifies me but for some reason those three dudes and like shit you can't kill that terrifies me like like freddie is like if you're asleep he comes to get you right like stay up all i I I definitely i definitely remember like when i was a when i was a a young lad watching like the first like one of the nightmare on elm streets right one of the first ones Mm -hmm. and it's like so if I go to sleep, he's yeah, gonna Johnny kill me. Depp out there getting eaten alive by his goddamn waterbed. I had a fucking waterbed myself. I'm sitting there just like, is it tonight? Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen, man. The Braves just lost the World Series. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> fucking Carter, <laughs> F- the, that guy. The Braves lose with Greg Maddox. I don't understand. Um, the world is not right. That, that and like it was, it, 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 you've got like uh halloween right and so yep. you're you're watching that and like there was one year where like friday the 13th fell on halloween or not halloween but in october right it, it happened so this year but it happened back in the day and all hell broke loose but when i was a kid watching that you're just like and so i'm out like trick-or-treating and stuff and i'm like just like, like looking around and you got people in, in the in the jason master you're like that guy this is you know you're you're different when you're a kid but i mean things are definitely shit i'm like that as an adult bro like i had some dude hanging around the neighborhood like when we first kind of moved into the neighborhood he's out walking around with the jason uh uh, the myers yeah uh, the myers mask the the michael myers michael michael myers jason and michael Myers. jason wore the hockey mask michael myers is walking around the neighborhood he's stopping under all the the street lights yeah, you told he's me. Look at you, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm like sitting there. I'm like, I kind of start pulling it up. I go, if I gotta do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna let you know if you come around too hard on me tonight, 
I think everybody should have fun, but but there's a point, right? Yeah. Like to a point. Like it was like back when I ran the uh, the half marathon uh, was when you had oh god, he's whole, getting the, the, the whole the, the whole big thing of like clowns. Like people oh. were walking around all the place dressed as clowns, scaring oh. the crap out of people and stuff like that. And I was doing a lot of my training at night. And so I was at, at, at a, a park in Watauga. They had like a big loop that I would go and run like every night. And it's all lit and stuff like that. But like there, there was a, there was a couple nights, like I'm out there running and there's someone out there in like a clown outfit and stuff like that, just trying to F with people. Mm-hmm. And like, there was one night, like I'm, I'm running and this guy's like standing on the, the, the path that I'm running. It's a sidewalk going around a little lake or a pond or whatever. Right. And like standing in front and, and I'm running towards him. Like, dude, get the out of the way. Move. And he's just standing there. And I go, if you don't get out of the way, I'm not responsible for what happens. There you go. And he kind of like stepped to the side a little bit and yeah. ran around. And, and, you know, I he's ran. He's out there to have fun. And, and, but and you're I come back to... around the second time. And I'm like, dude, if you don't get the out of here, I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, Jesus. No one believes that. And the guy, he he he, he pulled his mask off and, and walked away. But I'm just like, I'm I'm not, I'm not doing it. Like, there, there's the there's... first time. Okay. I'll give you the first time. Right. And I say something, you walk away, but you're there the second time. We're going to have an issue and we're going to have a problem. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to be back around here in about four to five minutes because that's just how long the track is. And if you're still there, we're going to have issues again. Yeah. It, it is one of those things where, you know, people are having trying to have fun. I do it out here all the time. You know what I mean? I don't trace people down the street. We we've done that one year where we had the kids over here. Everybody's dressed as a clown, just running fucking a muck. We're doing it on Halloween though, too. Right. Yeah, we're doing like, it on this Halloween. Is, this is like October 5th yeah. or something like that. Right. And it's like, dude, and all the stuff's going around where people are doing it all over the country. And like, you have stories of like people, like there's, there's stories of some people dressed as clowns, attacking people and things like that. And some people who are dressed as clowns who get attacked because they're effing with people during this whole time. And it's like, now's not the time, brother. Yeah. Now's not the time. All those, all those things you see, you know, they're sitting there like whatever, like everybody reaches down. like, yeah, if you want to be real, we can be real. And they're like, Oh, it's a prank. It's a prank. They get the fuck out of here. If I already to- if I already gave you like one warning, if not two, it's enough. That's all you need. Yeah. If you're if you're there to have a little bit of fun, there's no problem. But if someone tells you they're not interested, get the hell out of walk the way. Away. Walk, yeah. walk away. Yeah. Walk and away. we don't and we don't do that here. Like, um, you know, Lizzie and I would go out front. We're fogging up the street. We got our little LED mask on. We're just we're not anywhere else other than in our yard. We're just sitting there having a good time. But yeah, right. people that like go around like, dude, that dude that that fucking Michael Myers mask is like, bro. There's a guy like, who I think he's like the the Michael Myers of Decatur, and he's on TikTok and like you see videos of him and like he'll, he'll be in like stores and stuff dressed at it or walking down the street and like I think this last year it's like him and like he has like his kid dressed as it too and so yeah. they're both walking down the street and like okay you know when like you, there's people that like call the cops on like the cops show up like dude you can't you, you got to stop like if someone tells you like hey i'm not into this walk away but you if just can't if you're hanging out there. then it doesn't matter if they're like you know i'm calling the cops on you cuz you, you know you're disturbing me but i'm in my house no one gives a shit i don't care yeah. let people but, have fun to a certain extent if you're sitting there jerking around with somebody and they're like, hey, enough's enough. And then you're like, still going? Hey, welcome to Texas. You're probably going to get fucking shot. I'll, I'll tell you what some of my favorite videos are, is the people that are effing around with people dressed as clowns. And it was like, dude, I, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And they just keep walking towards them. And then the clown gets knocked out because he just keeps pushing, right? You keep pushing, you keep pushing. The dude's like, dude, step away, step away. Or the guy dressed as a clown just rolling up on some random person. And the guy's first reaction is the throw. He throw, some dude jumps around the corner, scares the crap out of him who he has no idea, and throws a fit. Hey, sorry, bro. 
You get yourself a little one, two combo, buddy. I mean, yeah. you usually have to pay action for this kind of action, but you're getting it for free tonight. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm telling you, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm all for hanging out, but I don't, you know, as much as we are into things or th- I almost said Thanksgiving, as much as we're into Halloween, I don't go around the neighborhood trying to scare the shit out of everybody. I have all my shit out front. Yeah. We stay out front. I don't roam the neighborhood looking for fun. I will say this, you know, this is the only caveat I'll give you. And it's because we were all here in our front yard in our, the front of our house. Okay. And it was like, yeah, Liz is dressed as a clown. Jacob's dressed as a clown. We're all dressed as clowns. I got Jason, uh, uh, Jacob, this massive mouth that I made. So he's like chasing people down the street and shit like that. But they, it was like their parents are all laughing their ass off in the car. You know what I mean? It's like they locked the doors and then drove off, you know, and, yeah. and shit like that. But it, it, uh, at no uh, point in time was someone saying, dude, stop, 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 stop. And he kept yeah. going, right? If someone said stop, he would stop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's the difference. Like if someone tells you like, dude, I'm not into this stop and you keep pushing, that's on you, whatever happens next. It's a, it's a Just rough, a <laughs> rough. Like have fun, but don't be. be a dick, yeah. right? Everybody wants to have fun. Everybody wants to get scared. But yeah, once you hear that stop bullshit, like, buddy, you better stop. You're going to get what you don't want. And what you don't want might actually end you. So you, you don't want to play fuck around to find out because it you never don't. works out for you. It, do, it doesn't work out. But uh, real quick, so let's finish up. Uh, we're drinking uh, Black Talon series. I got the lime. You got the coconut and lime. Uh, Selfie Boys for Life. W- what do you think about that one? It holds up. It's super carbonated, to be honest with you. Anytime I ever pour any more into the cup, it fizzes up really hard. But they figured something out two years ago. They said the coconut, the lime, the coconut, the lime, it all works itself out. That's a song, it's a right? beautiful, it's a beautiful it's seltzer, coconut, right? Lime and you put it all together. The, the coconut, the lime, and you put it all together. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you. Um this one I've had in the fridge for so long. When you said, Hey, let's just drink it. I, I felt kind of bad. I was like, man, I've had this beer for, or I've had this seltzer for so long. It's like, I don't want to drink it. I've had it. I've had it for this long. I got an empty can in the fridge and I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. But you know, this one, I'm like, Jesus, I, I just, when you have something for that long, it's hard to let go of it. I'm glad I had it. Uh, for me, it knocked back quick, easy, but carbonated you have to worry about that i'm just saying you probably hey, listen if you're watching this video you probably don't have one i've had it in my fridge for two years yeah yeah I've had it for a couple of years as well I, I have not- no idea how long i've had this one again it, it's not on the untapped uh there's no date on it or anything like that it's just i i, I buy stuff from brutal all the time and and there, i have some stuff that's set it sits for a while. Like I've got the Texas Rangers right now. That's been sitting for over a year in, in my fridge. They just released a new version of it, um, which I'm going to go pick up. And then we're going to do a review where we each have an old one and we each have a new one. Um, and we, we drink the old one. Then we drink the new one and we just, let's just have some fun. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as far as this is concerned, this, this lime one, delicious. I am really enjoying it. Um, it's things like this that makes it easy to be a salty boy. Let's just be That's honest. Fun. Yeah. Every day, every week. If you're not part of the Patreon, you should be. It's patreon.com slash strikeout beer. Get extra content, extra episodes, extra everything. Just Check it out. Up. Your first month is free. Ask Alan about that. Three bucks to get in. You can't beat it. Get some yep. extra content and fun. You're supporting your boys by just buying them a beer a month. There you go. Three bucks. <laughs> That's it. Find your boys a bunk. Yep. But hey, Brutal Beer Works out in North Richland Hills. Go check them out, guys. Uh, you get up three breweries in the lightning bolt of North Richland Hills. You get up uh, Fall Seidel, Brutal Beer Works, and Keyworth Brewing. They're all right there. It's the lightning bolt of Texas. You won't regret it. That's all I got to say. But as always, I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Happy Halloween. Thank <laughs> you.